Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see some of our, uh, the actions performed in Spark with Scala. I have created a Scala object, defined the main method, created the Spark session and here I have created one data frame with some sample data because here we will be mainly seeing the actions right. So I have created a data frame and I have also created an RDD here. If you see here I have taken some sample uh, data and using the spark dot spark context and the parallelize method by passing this data here I have created the RDD. So if I place the cursor here it will show DF is a data frame. And if I place the cursor here, it will show RDD is D, R, uh, this RDD small uh, lowercase RDD is RDD of string comma int comma int. That is because in the list that we have taken, first one is the string, next one is the int, and next is the int. So got it right? So we have an uh, data frame and we have an RDD here. So now for any after creation of RDD and data frame, we have to trigger an action to execute the transformations on the data frames and RDDs. Okay, that about the lazy operations of Spark you all know, right? So now we will see how, how to print the uh, RDD or data frame and also what are the like uh, differences, why we have to use this one and why not that kind of or why? Because this is the most frequently asked uh, interview question as well, one of our friends requested for this video. So, uh, for we have to uh, give some uh, code examples as well it seems during the interview. So, this video will help for such kind of interviews. Okay. So, now when we do rdd.collect. So, what collect does is it redirects the input from all the nodes to driver node and from there it will print. Because of that reason only we should not use collect in the production code real time scenario. Okay, because it's a overhead to the driver. Instead, we will pass the RDD for further operation and the finally, uh, like after completion of entire code, either we will write it into a file or we will write it into a hive table or we will take care of something, but we should not use collect in the code. But during the testing or during the practice, okay, you can use collect but it will just redirect the input to driver node but it will not print in case because this is standalone machine okay I, you can uh, see if i run this code also you can see nothing will get printed And collect is a very costly operation because it has to take the output from all the nodes. So shuffle up, shuffle will be more because of that. So you can see here, right? No output has been generated for that because of that reason only we will uh, like we have to use using for each. So in the collect after uh, collecting the RDD using the for each function, we can do anything we want. Okay, it's not only print ln. Okay, any other thing like maybe for each get the item, get the item of one or um, add all the sum, sum all the get item of two dot sum, such kind of operations also you can do. So for each collected elements in the RDD, it will perform whatever we are sending inside the for each, right? It will perform this operation. So which means as of now, I am sending print ln, right? So it will print each element in the RDD. So now let me run this code. So if you see here, now we got all the RDD print is printed here. Okay, elements are printed here. Okay, so now here inside this also you can use filters or whatever it means this statement means that whatever you have collected for each element for each row you print it. Okay, or for each you can apply for any kind of operation. So this is one way of 
using the uh, sorry use, uh, collecting the print, uh, rdd elements okay so now we have take as well rdd dot take so let's say take two records this means that take the two records and similarly event take also it's usually used for practicing purpose or sampling purpose mainly used because it will not show entire data it will pick up the two records because of that reason only it's mainly for sampling purpose or any analysis purpose we will use this take okay so even that one should followed by for each so it has four records rdd has four records now i am using take two which means take two records and then print it and you can see only two records are printed here okay that's the difference okay so now let's see and uh, usually collect and take are the ones we will use in the rdd now in the df we are ma we majorly use show okay what show does is by default 20 rows i think it will take so it will print it by default if you wanted to print more than 20 you can mention inside this this is the number of rows you want and do you want to truncate truncate you can if you send uh, by default it is true truncate equal to true if you send false here what will happen is let's say the column value is like 100 characters first character okay uh, then it will truncate and it will show like only 10 characters or something i have not checked that okay you can check it but it will truncate the string but if you mention truncate first how much how many characters you have in the data those many characters it will print okay that is the use of show you can if you if you put a show it will do this so what i will do i will just say i show so that we will know from where uh, this output has come and next is we can also use collect but for that it's collect is a rdd function so we have to convert the data frame to rdd and then we can use collect but as i said collect will not print it will just co collate the data from all the nodes and it redirects the output to driver so we have to send it through for each of println okay and then we can use take as well but again take is uh, rdd function so we have to convert that to rdd and we will say take to dot for each of println even for lists right list and uh, sets uh, for that also we have to use for each of printer and because collect will not work directly or printing that array or list or directly will not work okay we have to use that through for each of print element which means that we are saying for each element perform the print okay and also we can actually do the show collect and take we have done right yeah let me print it let me run the job So if you see here the show has printed in the proper table format because this is the output of the data frame we usually get it this is the show okay that we have mentioned in the print this is the show and what collect printed is this kind of list okay now take will print only to because we have mentioned take of two so friends this is how actions work so when someone asks you what is the difference between for each or collect or take and show right you can say show is data frame function it is used for showing the data in tabular format collect is collect and take are uh, predominantly used by rdds only we, we, we usually will not use df.rdd like that so collect and take are used for printing the rdds not uh, for collecting like redirecting the output from all the nodes to driver node but we have to use this along with the for each using the println method okay and why we use for each is whatever function we will send inside the for each okay 
it will apply that function to each row in the RTD. Okay, so this is the main difference between all these like collect, take, show and for each. Hope this is useful to you friends. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.